I'm going to teach you on how we are going to create offset in Microsoft Excel. Now, when we say offset, it is like creating targets, okay? Targeting cells in Microsoft Excel. So, I have uh, some sort of a reference on the formula of offset in here. So, of course, you're going to start with an equal sign, then offset, then open parentheses, then you are going to look for a reference cell. Then after getting the reference cell, you are going to press comma. Then you are going to search for the cell's row location. Okay, so that's the first one that you are going to do. Then next is you are going to click on comma or press comma. Then cell column location. Then comma. Then how many rows are there who will be included on the highlight. Then comma. Then we have the column highlight. Okay, so then close the parentheses. Now let's deal with this one in, of course, uh, we are going to demonstrate it. First, you're going to start with an equal sign, then type offset. So we already have a guide here, then open parentheses. The first one is the reference cell. So for example, if I want to display the first data from the sales column, we already know that the first data is this one. Okay, when we are going to use offset, you are going to get the reference. Now, the reference will be the heading. So, I have the sales column as the heading. I'm just going to click on that one, which is C3 for my sheet. Okay, so on your part, it might be different. Then press on the equal sign. Oh, no, the comma sign. Then afterwards, I'm going to click on rows. So for the rows, I'm going to deal with the cell row location. So the location of number 15 is on the first row from the cell or the sales cell. Okay, so the sales cell value, you're just going to count to one and that will be the number that you're going to place here. So I'm going to press one. Okay, then afterwards, the column location. Okay, so the column location it's like if ever you're going to move to the right, you're going to type 1. If ever you're going to move to the left, you're going to type negative 1. But since there is no movement from left to right, then I'm going to type 0. Then afterwards, since I am not going to highlight multiple cells, so I'm just going to stick with 1. Since I'm going to select only one cell for this one. Same thing with the column comma I'm going to press 1 it's because I'm not going to highlight going to the right or going to the left okay then close parentheses by the time I'm going to press enter it should look like this now up next is display the first data of the month column now let's try to use the sales column as the reference cell so first I'm going to press equals type offset Open parentheses. I'm going to use the reference cell for the sales. Okay, so click on here. Of course, you can use this one, but we are trying to use or we are trying to experiment on how the offset will target different cells. So comma. Up next is the cells row location. Now the row location that I'm going to find is the first data from the month column. So it's this one. So I need to go down. Okay, so I need to go down in here just to find this so i'm going to type one but since um the reference is in here on this column and i need to go back or i need to move to the left so i need to instead of typing zero i'm going to type negative one because i'm moving to the left something like that okay so since this is the reference going down and going to the left so that's negative one since I'm not going to highlight anything, I'm just going to type 1 again and comma 1 for the column. Close. Then that's it. Now as you can see in here, um, it's the value is different from here. It's because we are using a date format. So if you want to convert this one into date, all you need to do is just to click in here. Then change it to short date. Okay. Uh, if you want to uh, somehow look like this, then... 
you can just click in here then go to date then you can go to custom then we're just going to follow the format now the form format for this is like three m's one two three for the month then dash then days so or year i don't know if this is a year or a day i think this is a year something like that okay then okay that's it okay so we already have january 21 which is the first data of the month column now let's try the third one okay so the third one is like displace the third data from the sales column this time our reference cell will be the month okay so we are going to use month as the reference cell not the sales okay so a while ago we used the sales for this so to do that equals offset open parentheses now the reference cell will be the month okay cell then rows okay so comma of course cell row location is i'm going to display the third data from the sales column so the third data is one two three so i'm going to move three so i'm just going to type three then comma for the column since it is already in b3 so since this is the reference so i already moved three downwards then i need to go to the right which means i need to press one okay so since i need to move to the right press 1 move to the left negative 1 but if you're not going to move to the left or to the right then you are going to press or type 0 okay then comma press 1 again is it's because you're not going to highlight anything then comma 1 again for the columns close enter there you go so I already have 30 for the third data of the sales, sales column now let's check it one two three so this is the third data of the sales column that is how you are going to deal with offset that is how offset works now let's try to do the more advanced version in offset so i'm not going to delete that one that will serve as your reference so if you want to copy the formatting from here so all you need to do is just to click here click on format painter then click on the values that you wish to follow so same thing if you want to use this format for this one just click on format painter then click there you go now up next is we are going to use this one this is a much more um how do you call this one much more advanced version and offset this time we are going to get the average of a particular set of values for example if you want to display the average sales for the third month now currently it is still june okay it is still june right now on my date here okay or actually it's already july so i'm just going to add new value for here so but let's just continue with the june okay so display sales for the third month so to do that of course you are going to no actually the uh, the statement is wrong so I need to display the total sales or the average sales sales for three months okay so I need to display the average sales for three months so it's like the average of one two and three so how are you going to deal with that in offset now this time we can use uh, the row highlight or even the column highlight but for this we are going to use the row highlight so to do that of course you can use this um, formula equals average open parenthesis then highlight the value now this is good if you are not dealing with dynamic data but if you are dealing with data that has movement then definitely this is not a very effective data or the effective way on how you are going to use the average now we are going to use offset for the average we are going to follow what is in here okay so first you're going to type equals average open parenthesis so instead of typing number one you are going to type offset set there you go then open parenthesis again then you are going to get the reference so what will be the reference for our offset so my reference will be this one 
the sales since I'm going to deal with the sales then comma so of course the rows that will be included will be this one so I'm just going to use one so this will be the first row that will be included comma and for the column since I'm not going to move to the left or to the right I'm just going to press zero this time for the height this is the part wherein you are going to highlight the values so to do that um, all you need to do is just to count okay count how many values will be included so that's one two three so it's like three months so I'm just going to type three then comma then since I'm not going to go to the right or go to the left I'm not going to highlight any values in there so I'm just going to stick with one then close parentheses since we already have two parentheses in here so you need to close it again then press enter there you go so if you want to check that one out you can highlight this area and you will see in here that the average is the same okay so it's like this is how you're going to get the average using offset okay now for now you are not going to see the difference between the normal average and the offset average but later on let me explain I'm going to explain that one to you further now up next is you are going to display the average sales okay display the average sales for six months to do that same thing we're going to type equals offset oh no sorry since we are going to deal with average then offset then open parentheses again get the reference since the reference will be sales comma then the first row or let's say if you want to start with February it's okay okay so this is how offset works so it's like you can start anywhere from March to June it's up to you from April to June it's up to you or from February to April okay so for now we are just going to follow what is in here so I'm just going to use the first month of the sales then for the column since I'm not going to move to the left or to the right I'm just going to press 0 then comma then for the row highlight I'm going to highlight three values or no it's six okay so one two three four five six so up to June so I'm just going to type six comma and for the width just one close again then close another one enter so it's like if ever you're going to get the average for all of these it should be 21.17 okay so that is how you're going to display the average sales for six months okay using offset okay so this is the formula and this is for the formula now average sales for the last three months now this one is kind of different from the previous one guys it's because you are going to get the average sales for for the last three months okay so it's like from here going up okay so this is the part where offset really works properly why it's because um for example if your value is moving let's say it's already July right now given that it's already July then definitely you need to add another value in here so there's some sort of movement so if you ever you are going to use average for this one let's say equals average open parentheses get the average of the last three months something like that if ever you're going to close it what if a new month will appear let's say for this one this one will not be dynamic or this one will not change anymore you need to change the formula again and that is not how excel works so we are not we are going to make sure that everything is automatic okay so let me close this one again or let me delete that one and we are going to use offset for getting the average of the last three months now to do that this is the formula that we are going to follow we are going to use the count a function okay so how are we going to deal with it it's like this type equals average open parentheses type offset then open parentheses again 
we are going to get the reference. Now, the reference that I'm going to get is this one. C3. Because we are going to deal with the sales, right? So, comma. Then, for the rows, I'm just going to use count A. Okay, so it's like I'm going to count all the rows that is included on the range. Count A, open parentheses. So, I'm going to highlight the values from January to December. Close parentheses. Afterwards, I'm going to press comma. For the column, since I'm not going to move to the left or to the right, I'm just going to stay with zero. Then comma. So, how many months do I need to compute for the average sales? Then I'm going to use three months. But this time, I'm going to use negative 3 so that the highlighting will be going upwards, not going downwards, something like that. Okay, so it's like for the last three months, let's say June, May, and April, something like that. Then comma, since we are not going to um, change for the column or the highlighting of the column, then we're just going to choose one. Then close parentheses and close another parentheses. Enter. There you go. So it's like if ever you are going to highlight from June, May, and April, the average should be 20.67. Okay? Now, let's say if I'm going to add a value here. So it's already July, right? So if I'm going to change this one to something like the sales for July is around 56. Automatically, this one will change. It's because it is going to compute whatever is on the last three months. Okay? So this is the last three months, and you can see in here it's 36. So if ever you are going to add another value for the next month, then automatically it will create another uh, value. Okay, so let's try uh, getting the average for the last six months. Same thing, equals, get the average, open parentheses, type offset. It won't matter if you're going to use uh, capital or small letters. Then afterwards, open parentheses I'm going to get the sales okay this one the sales sell okay as the reference then rows of course so for the rows I'm just going to use count a open parentheses then start with the first value going down to the last value close parentheses comma for the columns okay so if ever you wish to get the columns since we are not going to move to the right or to the left I'm just going to stick with zero comma for the width since we are not uh, moving as well or for the height I'm sorry we are dealing with the height here so we are going to move upwards by six so one two three four five six why is it negative it's because we're moving upwards if it's positive then we're going to move downwards okay then comma no highlight for the columns, so I'm just going to choose one. Close. How many parentheses are there to equal it out? Then enter. There you go. So the average sales for the last six months is one, two, three, four, five, six. It's 35.5 or 35.50. It's correct. So if ever I'm going to add another value here, automatically will change. Same thing. So I'm going to highlight the values. It's 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's 44.67, okay, if rounded off. So that is how you are going to deal with offset in Microsoft Excel. Now for the highest sales and least sales, all you need to do is just type equals max for the high, highest sales and highlight the values, something like that, close. There you go. So the highest sales for this month is on September. For the least sales, it's equals min, open parentheses, highlight the values, close parentheses, and there you go. So the least sales is in April. So that is how you're going to deal with maximum minimum uh, offset in Microsoft Excel. Subscribe for more. Bye for now.